This water is so crystal clear. Kukoma. Kukoma. Oh man, it's so good. This is so unbelievable. Tasty. I'm telling you, it's so good. <laughs> water is magical. It's an elixir, it's a chemical of life. We're here at Namakate School, primary school in uh, Blantyre Rural. So there's a couple different school districts. This is a rural one, Mpopo Village. Will yes. some of the village also use this? Yes. So we got people from the school here, but also people from the village that will use this borehole. So installed May 9, 2023, which is just six months ago, 45 meters deep. So we want to thank uh, Dr. Dylan William and Siobhan Leahy again for years and years and years of support for Water Wells for Africa to partner with us that we can bring water not only to very extremely difficult places to reach in Malawi, but in schools. So we've been focusing on that in particular for the last few years. This area right here in terms of tribal make makeup is 90% Lomwe, 10% Yao. Meeting with the headmaster here, Gradexio. Um. Dombo. Yeah. It's like Rambo, Rambo, <laughs> but Dombo. Dombo. 16 years come from the, this is an Ngoni tribe member, come from the central B here. They have 323 students, 160 boys, 163 girls, so more girls than boys. Yeah. And the, because this is here, kids are able to stay in school, kids are able to come to school, health has improved. And I've been asking them about just attendance rates. So, in terms of attendance, Attendance rate is up, dropout rate is down by 5%. Now why that's significant is because Malawi has the highest dropout rate in all of South Africa, all of the Southern Africa region. So when there's a reversal of that trend, it's something to be grateful about. Retention rate is up, uh, absenteeism is down from 20% to 7%. So kids are able to come to school more, come to school longer and they are doing better in academic performance is up. So I said, you know, what level are you in the district? This district is really huge. 168 schools in this one district, which is massive. And so last year, they were 85th ranked in this district, but this year, they're 35th. Come on, give it up. Round of applause. Manja, manja. Yeah. So I said, what, what do you attribute the rise to? And he says, one, hardworking teachers. And we understand the difficulty of teaching in this very uh, extreme environment where there's just very little resources. But they've now gone up this year to 35th because they have water, because they have hardworking teachers, and because Dr. Dillon and Siobhan, you've partners with us. It takes us so long to get to these places, to make this happen. We've been doing it now for almost 30 years. We have 500 boreholes that we've been able to install because of people like you. We want to do a thousand. We want to do more. We want to help more kids stay in school. We want to help them have a higher dream rate. So we got an increased dream rate. So we're really excited to be here and to be able to see the people we're helping and to say thank you so much. Zikomo? Zikomo. Zikomo Kwambiri? Zikomo Kwambiri.